Hi guys, Paul here from Muscle Car UK and Pilgrim Motorsports yet again. Here we have a beautiful Mustang convertible, 1967, one of the best years. This car has had a total restoration all the way through it. it belonged to a guy in uh, Mesa, Arizona. We bought it off of him. He'd had it for 10 years and spent the last seven literally nut and bolting this car. It's incredible and he's done an extremely great job on it. He's an engineer by trade, and in his spare time, this is what he did. He built a rotisserie, he did the whole thing. Every panel's been done, every nut and bolt. He's gone through the whole car. All the chrome is absolutely beautiful. There's no sort of pitting on the chrome. The paintwork is beautiful. As you can see, all, all the chrome around here, all new bumpers, new grill, the pony in the corral with the wings on it. Just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous car, this. Um, I'll show you underneath the bonnet in a minute, which is just will blow your mind. It's just that good. We're going to hopefully get some shots of the underneath because if I can show you the underneath, you'll see the, the detail this car's been done. It's got the beautiful 15 inch Krager on there with the BF Goodrich tyres. All the uh, Mustang signs are all new, all the way down the side, wing mirrors. And then these are parts that are always pitted normally, but these are absolutely beautiful. They really are gorgeous. And all the way through here, He's put like the Shelby scoops on them here. As you can see the Shelby scoop. These are obviously on the race cars that used to let air in to cool the brakes. Obviously it doesn't do it on this particular car, but just a good looking thing. And then as you come down, it's all beautiful. The paint works glorious. There's no rust in the car, you know, and, uh, and here he's put the, the Shelby back end on it as well. So it's got this duck tail spoiler um, boot lid, which is absolutely gorgeous, which comes through here as well, as you can see. New chrome here, new chrome lights. It's got the 67 uh, dip in here, which is, you know, we can always tell which car it is. Beautiful gas cap. And you can see down here, we've got the, the twin exhaust either side, which give it a real nice burble to it. I mean, it's a very powerful car, this is, you know, it, it, it's like sort of 350, 400 brake horse. That's, he's done a lot of work to the engine, which I'll show you in a sec. But it was no expense spared on this car. This car under here, of this tonneau cover, has got the mohair style, which I'll show you in a minute. It's electric, electric um, roof, so very easy to work. It's got the power steering. It's got the automatic. It's even got the air conditioning, the modern air conditioning, but it's called a vintage air because it looks like the old air conditioning system. So you've got aircon as well as the electric roof and all the other bits and pieces. But it's a beautiful car. What I do is I'll show you the interior now and uh, you can see what's going on in here. If, you, if we have a quick look, it's got a beautiful Grant mahogany steering wheel on it, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's got the original uh, center console in here as well, which is always lovely, with the garage door, as I call it, as you can see there, for keeping your knickknacks in. Um, Mustang uh, stereo, modern take, looks old, but it's not. It's, um, it's a modern one with Bluetooth and everything else. Air conditioning works from the original uh, switches here. But as you'll see under the bonnet in a second, you'll see how it's all set up. But it's had new carpets, new seats, as you can see. We have got the original seats. So if you don't like the comfort of these and you prefer the original seat, we've got those as well. So that's not an issue. So new carpets, all new door trims, um, new speaker panels, the correct ones in the bottom of the doors here. All inside the door shuts. If you can get in there, Grant, it's all absolutely beautiful. All been done correctly. No overspray or anything like that. Just a really great car. So this is the thing, the thing that people really like. When you've got a car that is sort of getting on for 60 years old, but it's got some of the, the lovely extras that you might want. This, this car has got that electric power roof. So you just pop the tonneau off like this and literally jump in and it's a button here on the dashboard. <coughs> It's as easy as that. I'm pressing the button now. And as you can see, it's always better to have the engine running because it comes up a bit quicker. But uh, we're just showing you that that's, that's all you have to do. Literally, it's a one button thing. It's just like your modern car now. That's it. And then it just clips in either side. And there you are. It's as easy as that. It's very easy to do. So you've got your, you can stick your air conditioning on then if it's getting too hot and you can still cruise down wherever you're going. Fabulous car, really comfortable and a, and a joy to drive. Right, can't wait to show you under here because this has got the wow factors, no doubt there. Have a look at this. 
absolutely beautiful. The amount of time and money that is spent on this car. He's had all the engine rebuilt, the gearbox rebuilt. He's had loads of upgrades in the engine, pistons, high lift race cam in it, the cams rather, electronic distributor. This is the air conditioning pump here. And as you can see, it's all got the new type of pipes. And so it, it works really well like your normal car would. But you can see it's got this lovely Ford Mustang chrome rocker covers, the Ford Mustang air filter top. It's got the brace all done in chrome. All the water bottles are nice. But if you just look, in, look into the side of the car and you can just see all this satin black area here as it should be when it was new. So obviously the engine has been out. And when it was on its rotisserie, this would all have been painted. And if you can get down into here, Grant, you can see it's got the shorty headers. They've all been aluminized. So they're in absolutely great shape. And cost, what he must have spent on this, aluminium rad. It's just, he has spent a, a small fortune doing it. All the nuts and bolts, all under here is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, he really has gone to the, the nth degree. I hate to think what he spent on this car, but it's got to be one of the best cars out there. It really has. Beautiful underneath the bonnet. It's got the 67 bonnet, so it's got the trafficators. So when the bonnet's shut and you're driving, you, the indicators flash here, each side, which is, people love that as an extra. And the only other thing I've got to mention, which I forgot to earlier, was that it's got disc brakes at the front, power disc brakes. It's also got disc brakes at the back. So he's had discs on the front, discs on the back, power steering, automatic, air conditioning, fully restored in candy apple red. If you're looking for a Mustang convertible to either take to the villa in Spain or Portugal or wherever, or something you just want to take to shows and win prizes, this could be the one. Drives extremely well, goes like a rocket. Um, come down and have a test drive. In weather like this, you'd be mad not to. Hope to see you soon. Just give us a call 01273 493 860 or you'll see the website hopefully arrive underneath me shortly. Thanks again. Well, here we have the Marty Auto Works, which is the like birth certificate of this car. And it literally can literally tell you anything about it. In 1967, built at the Matuchin plant, uh, Mustang two-door convertible, as you can see, 289, two-valve V8 engine, which it still has. It's now got a, a four-valve big uh, carburetor on it to, to cope with the power. But you can still also see here, candy apple red paint, there's the Ford number. So it's original car, original color, black vinyl standard bucket seats. Obviously we've got those. It's got the modern front seats in it, but it has got the, uh, the, the standard seats in the back. New York dist district uh, sales office it was sold at. It was sold to WH Jackson Auto Sales Incorporated. I doubt if they're still there, but you can see black power top with, the, with a glass backlight. Sports Sprint, so it had a few extras on it. Um, obviously these tyres nowadays have long since gone, rocker panel mouldings, power steering which you know it has, AM radio, that's long since gone as well, and wheel covers so it had hubcaps when it first came off the, uh, the, 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 the line. But just that's a great thing to have, you know the, the whole history of the car then, you know how it was when it first came off the factory and went out to, to someone in New York who's had a great time. And then our friend Tim in Mesa had it for his last 10 years which he's done a fantastic job of restoring. So uh, hopefully you can come down and be the next owner and you can put your name to, to, the, to be the next custodian of the car.